joins in with Lennon, but now he's on the left. Can they find some chemistry with Wiley? Make the decisions when to go 1v1, when to get those 2v1 overlapping runs. Will Trap still sitting central. We know how dangerous Robin Lud is. Can drift inside, be effective, really taking on that number 10. And the video That's, that's what makes it fun. Pedelford getting forward. Robin looked from distance, and Brad Guzan had to be sharp to it. And makes his first save of the night. First corner of the night for the Loons. And it's an outswinger from Joseph Rosales. Michael Boxall's up for it. Took a deflection off of... If you are in the 8 or 9 spot, you have to play in that single elimination play-in game to get into the playoffs proper as Mosquera played in behind. Lashes this one all the way across for Lapsonice. A direct ball over the top against Charlotte. Now work to do for Brad Guzan from the set piece. Ariaga can't hit it from here. And he's not bashful. As Ariaga hits it straight into the wall. The second swipe. Ball did it. Brad Guzan stuck to the spot. Just the availability of players for this Atlanta United team. But Lapsonice makes that run on the inside. Big oh misunderstanding goodness. and collision there in Olawashe. This ball from Dane St. Clair just takes an awkward bounce and Abram misses it in a dangerous collision. And then somehow... great looking ball for Yakubakis and Dane St. Clair. Quick to it. What did they need from Amada? He knew where he was going with this ball before it was even played back to him by Mosquera. A low driven ball curling behind Michael Boxel, but away. Glancing header falls to the feet of Sangbin. In on goal, unloads of Brad Guzan. And the 39 year old able to make the touch save. And... I mean, just a misplay there and it's a beautiful flick on. Too bad it's the wrong team. And Sang Maybe at some point, even just Thiago Almada has to decide for himself is to mentally flip the switch. Even Yakamaki still talks about it. Michael Boxall on the header, or check that, it's Kervin Ariaga. The Honduran gets up and opens the scoring for Minnesota United on the road. And it's 1-0 to the Loons. He missed training last week with the birth of a baby. And then here, he just rises up on the backside of Tristan Moyumba. Caleb Wiley's not marking anybody. Maybe is that a player that you have someone on the front, you have someone on the back. He's just in space. And well done by Ariaga, the way he flips that to the back post and beats Brad Guzan. Good ball in by Rosales. The two in corner on the other side for Atlanta United. Moyamba on the first time, and it's Ariaga again who gets in the way of it getting to Dane St. Clair. Looks like Bangi Longwane and Temu Puki are getting set to come on for Minnesota as they're getting their final marching orders from Eric Ramsey. Good step from Harvey in the middle of the field. Olawashe might be away here. Goes for goal, and it's Tani Olawashe for a third straight game who makes it 2 nil. This kid is for real. And he cannot stop scoring at the moment. And the Loons might just be on their way to a mighty impressive road win at Mercedes-Benz Stadium yet again. Awful turnover. Caleb Wiley plays it centrally. Moyoma's not ready for it. Carlos Harvey put a little pressure on. But it's Olu Ashe just driving forward, riding off a little bit of a challenge, gets it on the left foot and slots it in the corner. And Guzan can't even get a fingertip to it because it's a clinical finish. Doesn't try to do too much with it. That's a great camera angle. It's curling a little bit towards the post. He's playing with confidence. Yakamakis on the first time after something was drawn up for the training ground. Ramada looking for an option and spots one in Tyler Wolf. Wolf squaring it back for Daniel Rios, and it was a soft delivery in the end. And straight into the hands of Dane St. Clair. Still missing Jean de Silva. But you've got Yakamakis and Almada in there. Decent delivery in. Abram takes a swipe at it, and he caught a little bit of contact from behind, but goal kicking. 
trying to do his best Thiago Amada impression for the moment. Here is the Argentine. Abjanitsa. Lenin. Room to deliver. Yakubakis brings it down. Fires at Dave St. Clair. Was planted to the spot. I'm saying it should have been higher. Oh, yeah. I get what you're saying. Yes. I don't know. I just think Mercedes Benz has an effect. Daniel Rios trying to have an effect on the game as a substitute. Plays it across for Lobjanitze. And it's 2 1. Atlanta right back in it. And this crowd finally has come back to life. Down 2 0 in the 83rd minute. They did not, not leave the Benz. And a flick on. Michael Boxel goes to ground. There's a challenge at midfield. Right there. It's Yakumakis with the flick. They get on the wrong side of Tapias and Ariaga and a very unselfish ball across from Rios to find Sabalo Janice, who stays in an onside position. Pidel. Ensuing corner. Gregerson up for it. Rios back for Bartos Leash. Just hooks it in, and it's off the bar! St. Clair come off of his line, and the flicked header rattles the woodwork. Clever little ball by Schleich, just over. He knows that Yakamakis is going to be lurking. St. Clair comes off his line, doesn't get any of the ball, and it goes off the crossbar. Atlanta United field. Tiago Almada. Never enough on it. Saved by St. Clair and Minnesota United hang on for a third straight win. And the Loons take sole possession of first place in the Western Conference.